vector field of the predator prey system. So this system is described by these state equations. X1 correspond to the population of prey and X2 to the population of predators. For this system, uh, the evolution function is given by f given here. And if I draw uh, this function f, I obtain the vector field represented in the figure. So from uh, this figure, uh, I have to discuss on the behavior of this system. To understand the equation, I have to imagine a world like this, where I have some uh, pred uh, some prey, like this, many of them, and some predator, like this. So I present bigger, red. And we can understand that uh, this world is uh, infinite, and if x1 is the population of uh, prey in a million, for instance, then if I have no predator, I can imagine that I have a population, which uh, uh, an evolution, which is exponential. So I would have something like this, x1 with something here. So something which is near 1, for instance. So exponential evolution. Now we have some predators, and the predator is x1, uh, I will see the evolution of the number of predators. I can understand that if I am in a world with only predators, then if I have no prey, the evolution will be decreasing exponentially. So here I will have minus 1, x2. Uh, now, the factor of in the exponential for the prey will depend on the number of predator. So if I have predator, then this coefficient will decrease. This is why here I will put minus x2. And the same for uh, the decreasing rate for the number of predator. I can understand that if I have prey, then this negative number will decrease and I will have something like this, plus x1. This is a very simple model which corresponds to the lotka volterra uh, equation. If I draw the vector field, so the vector field, to draw it, I will do something like this. I will have uh, x1 and x2. I will take many points like this. I will compute the evolution function here. And it will give me a vector for each of these points. And this corresponds to a vector fin and it will give me an illustration of the dynamic. For my system, as given in the exercise, I don't need to draw it corresponds to the predator, like this, and here to the prey. Due to the fact that the system can be described by x dot equal f of x, it means that the trajectory follows the arrows given in the vector field. So let me draw a single uh, simple trajectory. So assume that, for instance, I'm here. A possible trajectory will be this one. So I follow the arrows like this and I come back to the same point. So it corresponds to a cycle. So I will try to interpret this one. If I am here the number of prey is huge. The number of pre the predators are happy, 
so they, they, they increase the number of predator the population increases for the predator but for the prey probably there is too many predator and the number of prey is quite constant now when I'm here the number of predator is very high uh, probably too high for the number of prey and the number of prey start to decrease but predator can find quite easily some prey because there are quite a lot so the number of predator increase also now when I'm here uh, the number of prey is it uh, is not as much as before and the predator start to have some problem to find some prey but they can still maintain their population so the derivative of the number of the predator is constant now start to have problems not enough prey the predator have some problem to find the prey and the population start to decrease but it decreases for the number of predator and also for the number of prey so here I we can say that none of the predator or the prey can live comfortably uh, here in this situation the number of predators decreased dramatically and there is almost no prey the number of predator here there is almost no predator and the number of prey start to increase and so on we have a cycle like this but we may find also kind of cycle and another one is like this so when the row are small it means that the speed the evolution is almost nothing and here I will have something like this oh the system stay for a very long time here let's say four years and uh, for one year for instance the remaining part of the cycle is uh, performed uh, we understand that some cycles are better than others and small cycles like this are even to be on this point, very small point it's better for the, uh, for the global system uh, it's important to find uh, this point and to try to regulate uh, the population so that I will stay here so I will try to to find this point uh, so it corresponds to the first question uh, or no, to the second question the second question I have to solve f of x equals 0 to find the equilibrium point so it corresponds to 1 minus x2 time x1 equals 0 and minus 1 plus x1 time x2 equal 0 so I have this so I may have two situations the first situation is assume that x1 equals 0 so since x1 equals 0 this is equal to 0 uh, and now since x1 equals 0 for the second equation I will have minus 1 x2 equals 0 so it means that x2 is also equal 0 now assume that x1 is not equal to 0 so it is the other possibility so it means that since x1 is not equal to 0 this term is 0 so it means that x2 is equal to 1 so when I say 1 is it say 1 million of prey okay, or, or predator its population so I assume that there are not a discrete number but a continuous because I count in thousand or in millions so if x2 is equal to 0 it means uh, is equal to 1 so it means that for the second equation this one is equal to 0 so x1 is also equal to 0 as a consequence this tells me that either x1 x2 is equal to 0 0 so it means that I have no prey no predator and the second possibility is x1 x2 equal 1 1 so 
So it means that the population are here. So for instance, here I may have uh, uh, 1 million and here 1,000. I can understand here that uh, the ideal situation is correspond to the ecological equilibrium, which is this point. But it may happen that uh, uh, we are not here and we can control the system, for instance, by opening uh, the uh, opening authorization to hunt, for instance. So assume that I am in this cycle, this cycle. So I'm here, here I have almost nobody alive, and I will have this kind of cycle. Okay, so if I open some authorization to hunt, I can understand that I will only decrease the number of prey and I can decrease the number of predator. I cannot increase them. Okay, so if I am here, for instance, I can understand that if I open uh, the, the authorization to hunt, then I can only move in this direction and this direction. So what I want is to converge, to have a cycle which is... so I want to move toward this direction, so that the ci cycle will slowly go to the equilibrium point. So since I can only decrease the population, I can understand that if I am here, so I will take, uh, if I am here, like this, in this part of the cycle, then I will give some authorization to hunt the prey, and if I am here, in this part of the cycle, I will allow to hunt the predator. As a consequence, if I start from here my cycle, so here I will move like this, like this, because, uh, because of the hunt, and here I follow the same system as before because I'm not allowed to hunt anybody. And slowly and slowly I may converge to this ecological equilibrium.